Hey Cedar Crest family, it's Pastor Chris and we're continuing our look at the Passion Week of Jesus' life. And today we're gonna look at what is known as the Lord's Supper or the Last Supper. This is recorded for us in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And I particularly wanna zone in on what Luke tells us at the very beginning of this account that Jesus says to his disciples, I have earnestly desired to eat this supper with you. Why? Why did he desire to eat this particular Passover meal with his disciples? They had probably eaten them before. This is probably at least the third or fourth time he's done this. Why has he desired this particular meal? Before we answer that question, we have to ask, what is the Passover supper? What is it for? The Passover meal was a physical symbol that pointed Israel back to God's deliverance of them from Egypt, the bondage of Egypt. And in particular, when they slaughtered the lamb and, and shed its blood, it reminded them of the, of, the, of the blood that was shed in Egypt when they put it over the doorpost when God did that 10th plague and he passed over their homes when he saw the blood and did not take the life of their firstborn. This Passover event also preceded God's covenant with the nation of Israel, what is known as the Old Covenant, and also preceded their entrance into the land of Canaan, the Promised Land. Why did Jesus then earnestly desire to celebrate this Passover when this had been celebrated for literally over a thousand years? Well, that's because this would be the last Passover that would celebrate those realities. You see, when we celebrate what is known as the Lord's Supper as the, as the New Testament church, we are not reminded of God saving us from Egypt, from the bondage of Egypt, but from the bondage of our sin. We are not reminded of a physical lamb that was slaughtered to not take the lives of our firstborn, but of the lamb of God, Jesus, who was slaughtered and his blood was spilled so that when God sees that blood, we're not saved from physical death, but from spiritual death and the wrath of God. We're not reminded of entering into an old covenant where we have to keep the law perfectly in order to earn God's favor, but of the new covenant where God already kept the law for us in the person and work of Jesus Christ, and we already have God's favor and can never lose it. We don't look back at that covenant and we're not reminded of what God did to bring us into the, the uh, land of Canaan that still had physical problems and still, if we disobeyed, we would be thrown out of it. But our, our Passover lamb, he died so that we could live in the new heavens and the new earth where there'd be no more sickness, no more disease, no more crying, no more death. Brothers and sisters, our Passover, the, our Lord's Supper, that I, I cannot wait until we get to eat that together again here at Cedar Crest, that points us back to a much greater reality, that Jesus died to save us from our sins and bring us back to God. So, as we look at this time in Jesus' Passion Week, let us be as excited as he was the next time we eat the Lord's Supper because of what he did for us, saving us from the wrath of God, uh, saving us to live with him forever in paradise.